dit, dit is iets wat ik al vanaf mijn jongste jeugd uh, wilde, wilde doen. Ik was vijf jaar oud, ik keek naar de sterren en ik zei ik word professor op de maan. En uh, ja, dat zal het niet worden. Maar veel dichter bij de sterren dan dit ga ik niet komen denk ik. Fantastisch om hier te mogen zijn. It is the birth of a new technology. We are now at the stage where we can, we are, and we can really address the question of the whole history from the first star, first galaxy, to where we are now. And Deshima exactly does that. We use cutting edge physics and technology on the nanoscale to, f to tackle mysteries and solve problems on the largest scale of our world, cosmology and astronomy. It's a very wide band spectrometer, one or two orders of magnitude wider band than the spectrometers that exist now. So that means that you can point the Shima at a particular galaxy that you have no idea of the redshift and you can rapidly determine the redshift of that galaxy and go to the next one. This has been very difficult with uh, existing technology and the Shima tries to make a breakthrough there. Dit is de cabine van de Astra-telescoop. Door dit gat komt het licht wat door de grote schotel wordt verzameld hier naar binnen gestuurd. Het reflecteert op deze twee spiegels en wordt daarna geprojecteerd in de camera. Het unieke is dat wij zowel de afstand als de tijd kunnen bepalen. Dus dat we begrip krijgen over de stervorming in het vroege universum. So in this plot, you see that the telescope is moving. Now we're making what's called an X-scan, so the telescope goes from left to right, right to left, and gradually goes upwards. We've already uh, cleared the baseline goal of the mission. So it means that uh, the Shima works as a submillimeter wave detector on ASTE. It is the first time that uh, this type of detector, namely the on-chip filter bank spectrometer, has ever captured any light from the universe. We're writing history of our universe, and Dishima is a very efficient tool for doing that. <laughs>